Welcome back guys, Comics Crypt coming at you with another haul video, uh, continuation as uh, I said in my other videos of my month and a half roughly long period of collecting books before I could get video shot, trying to get sh caught up here. Um, before we start out, I want to shout out to some new subscribers to my channel, I really appreciate it guys, uh, Chris Lackey. Metarog, Daryl Crow, Daz the Comic Key Chaser, St. Louis Ron, Xbox Gamer 3389, Just Your Average Geeks, Player 21, Beauty Comics, and North Garden Comics. Thank you all for subscribing to my channel. And then uh, some of these people actually have channels. So I want to shout out to their, for their uh, YouTube channels, and you guys get a chance to check them out, please do. Uh, North Garden Comics, Metarog, Chris Lackey, Daz, the Comic Key Chaser, Just Your Average Geeks, Comicholics Channel, and Beauty Comics. These, these folks put out really great content love seeing people's different pickups what they're collecting what they might be specking on what they might be getting to try and use to get other books they're looking for for trade or just to sell to fun the hobby basically um, and if you really get a chance to check out Comics Holics channel their latest video might be but it's one that says uh, on the picture it says about a, a really key grail you guys need to check that out because it's, uh, it's a really good video but anyways enough jib jabbering you guys didn't come here for that you came here to see me see books and let me talk to you about books uh, so let's get into it these first uh, couple stacks are going to be from the uh, Walmart the um, 7 for 10 packs I ordered I think three or four packs and there really wasn't anything that spectacular in these packs I was actually kind of disappointed in these packs so but hey it's uh you know it's a hit and miss with these things uh, start off here is Uncanny Avengers number four and it's a little parody to the, the speedball special that uh, Colossus and Wolverine do. This one's called the Oddball Special. It looks like it's Rogue and Deadpool. Then this is uh, Mighty Thor number one. I believe this is uh, volume three. Uh, and of course, you can see her here when she's Jane Foster and dealing with all the cancer. I believe this is the series where she actually dies from cancer and then is brought back I don't know in this series or in another series as a uh, Valkyrie then we got Secret Empire number seven just a second print Secret Empire books I'll probably end up keeping these uh, I know we got a Secret Invasions coming up and I think Invasion came and then Empire so you never know if they're gonna bring uh Empire, Secret Empire, and I guess it's mean. Well, I guess Secret Empire really deals with uh, Hydra, and I guess we kind of had that in the Caps movies, but eh, never know. And it's a second print, uh, Brooks cover, I believe. Then we had Spider Island number one. Just has a bonus spider girl team story in it and uh mary jane i don't know if she's spinnerette in this one or not it ties in with secret wars again you never know this was the best book out of all the packs this is sam wilson captain america number five second print this is the first appearance of Joaquin Torres as the Falcon. So this is one I would definitely be keeping. Low print run on those two. 
Then we got some uh, some more. There were a lot of second prints in these packs, and they're you know they're cover price or less books. I know some people collect second prints. This is Squadron Supreme number two. Actually had two copies. And then we had Contest of Champions number three second print. And then we had Contest of Champions number two. This is a regular cover and there got two copies of that. Then we got uh, Miss Marvel number three. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking this is from the second Miss Marvel series. This is not a key issue or anything. I don't know if maybe it's my. I haven't got caught up with uh, the Miss Marvel show. So I don't know if this has any type of tie in or anything or not. Probably not. And then we got Nova number three, second print. Uh, has Miss Marvel on the cover, has Miles Morales on the cover, has Sam Alexander on the cover. Second printing. I may hold on to this one for a while. I mean, I got two of them. But this is the the, the new, uh, what do you call it? The new team, the new breed or whatever for Marvel. That's what a lot of the younger people who are into Marvel Comics, this is their characters. This is their Spider-Man, their Miss Marvel, their Nova. Compared to, you know, what... I grew up with in the 70s and 80s. Then a Nova number one. I mean, you got Sam Ryder and Sam Alexander on the cover. I'm assuming that's Sam Ryder. But there's like a later issue. I'm thinking like number 11 or something like that. Supposedly it's the first meeting. But you got them on the first cover of Nova one. Eh, I don't know. And then Star Wars number six from the first... Uh line when Marvel got Star Wars back. Second printing. There's no real big key, but it is second printing, so I'll throw it in with my Star Wars stuff. Right, let's go grab another stack here. And continuing on with Star Wars, this is from that uh, first time that they... Actually, you know what? That was uh, Darth Vader and not Star Wars but it was still the first line and then we got Star Wars from the first line when Marvel got the, the title back two copies of number eight just regular filler copies X-Men 92 number one uh, first appearance of Alpha Red the Vampire I may keep it I may try so it is a David Nakayama cover um I might just throw it in with my stuff for first appearances. Again, with Marvel stuff, you guys know the drill. You never know with first appearances anymore. Uh, X-Men Prime number one, just the second printing. Like I said, there's a lot of second printings. Uh, all new X-Men number one, second print. And number two, second print. Then we got X-Men Blue number three, second print. It's just, man, they were really in the big second prints back in the 2015s and 16s and 17s. This was seen so where this is all coming from. And then we got uh, Secret Wars, number six. This is the regular cover. I got three copies of that. And then Secret Wars, number seven. This is the second printing. Three copies of that Secret Wars I'll probably hold on to, especially with a Disney Plus show coming out. Oh, I'm almost betting now that it's more going to be off of this line than off of the Marvel Superhero Secret Wars line. And you know, if they do off this line, we're definitely going to be getting uh, Doctor Doom, unless they're going to put somebody else in there because Doom's the, the main bad in this line, from my understanding. All right, now we're getting into uh, some pickups. And this one is X Force 17, part of the Executioner's song, still bagged. I, I just grabbed it because it's a newsstand. Then we got Fantastic Four 346. 
This is the first cameo appearance of the Time Variance Authority Management. I don't know. This Time Variance stuff is getting a little out of hand. But uh, it's going up. It just got a little. That's a crease in action right there. But. And then 347 is the first appearance of the new FF. They didn't have 348. 348 is the first cover appearance of the new FF. Then I picked up a pit one half. I don't think this was a wizard. It might have been a wizard. It doesn't say wizard on it, and there was no certificate. Uh, Doctor Strange Sorcerer Supreme 67. Just want two part I'm slowly filling in this Doctor Strange run and then we all saw uh, I'm, this is not really a spoiler now everyone's had a chance to see the Multiverse of Madness you saw the um, post credit scene Clea and this is the return of Clea it's a stretch out there for spec but you never know Warlock and the Infinity Watch 42. This is the last issue of this series. Uh, this is the first time I have come across this issue ever. I've, I've never come across 42 before. I've seen 41 and 40. And I probably have some 41s and 40s in here, but I've never come across 42. And it's definitely got spine ticks and stuff, but hey... I, I know I paid. I know I didn't pay more than a buck for this. It's the last issue. I'll, I'll grab it. Captain America 260. It was part of a Facebook Buy It Now group I'm in. I just grabbed it. Just a late bronze, early copper, I guess it was, this would be. Cat Behind Bars. I first thought it was a Zek cover, but it's not a Zek cover, so... And it's a completely different style of Zek. But, eh, I didn't have it. At least I don't think I have it. Thor Annual 18. Everybody should know about this book by now. It was... It was hot. What? How long has it been since the Loki series? year better now? Because uh, this is the first cameo appearance of... Loki as a female, but this is also the first appearance. Now, I'm probably going to butcher this name of Hermer the Flame, half elf, half demon. If that means anything, and I'm assuming maybe it's this guy right here. I don't know. I mean, the thing is called Take Hold of the Flame, so very good possibility that's him. Silver Surfer Superman, Perez and Lim, just uh, rest in peace, Mr. Perez. I really wish I could have, I had sent for the last Perez signing to CGC, I had sent in my um, in uh, Infinity Gauntlet number one to be signed, but unfortunately, Mr. Perez's health had taken a turn for the worst, and he wasn't able to do the signings, and then Shortly afterward, uh, he passed away. So, uh, one of the I, th I may have a Perez signature that I bought or, or years back. I have a stack of box that has probably about a third full of autographs and stuff in it. But I've seen this book before, never picked it up, and I and I figured I saw this on somebody else's uh, channel. I don't remember whose it was and they got it and it says it's a very good story so I figured I'd pick it up DC sampler number three this is actually a preview of John Constantine from Swamp Thing 37 before Swamp Thing 37 came out so it's like a pre-preview I don't know how people feel about that stuff it was in a dollar bin uh, Mr. Zombert would like this. I got Simpsons Treehouse of Horror number 19. Nice little Kang and Kudos uh, homage there. 
And then number 20, Simpsons Treehouse of Zombies. This is a run I am slowly putting together. I know he's trying to put that together as well. And I think he's a little bit more further ahead. And you really need to check out his comic haul. He gets some good hauls at some really good prices. Really good prices. The man is like the bargain hunter of uh, <laughs> comic book hauls. Uh, here I find I got this run complete now. Godzilla in Hell number five. Uh, this one did not have uh, a variant cover. Uh, one through four had variant covers. I have some of those, but I have uh, the main line right now. Star Wars 3D number one. This is actually Blackthorn Publishing 3D series. And this is a first print. And the only way you can tell that this is a first print is I'm not going to take it out of the bag. But it has a Transformers ad on the back cover. The second prints have either a Michael Jackson Moonwalker cover or a Rambo 3 on the back cover. Ads. So I didn't realize that until I bought this and got it home and, and looked it up. And uh, I said about being a Transformers ad, I was like, oh. I need to check it again. It's, it's kind of a tight fisher. Put this in a silver age. Oh, you know what? I'll take it out and show you guys. It is. I think I'm going to switch this over to a silver. But right there it is. The first prints are the only ones that have a Transformer ad. Second prints either have, like I said, a Michael Jackson Moonwalker or a Rambo 3. And I may have another one of these buried in one of my boxes somewhere. Because when I got, I almost didn't buy this because I was like, I think I might already have this, but I'm glad I did. So. And that was, actually, I forgot to mention, this was uh, number 30 in their 3D line series. This is number 26 in their 3D line series, and they're both newsstands. It's G.I. Joe in 3D, number two. Uh, I did pick up a G.I. Joe in 3D, number one. I don't know if I showed that in the haul yet or if it's coming up. And then uh, I passed on a number three because it was, it was pretty water damaged. But this is a line I'm thinking about uh, trying to pers collect... Uh, I think I should have wrote this down. I, I, I want to say it ran for almost 50 issues. I'd have to double check that. This is EC Classics reprint series. Uh, this is Crypto Terror number one. This came out in January of 1973, and it, of course, it reprints Crypto Terror number one. So it's a uh, very, very nice cover. I think I'll, I I have another reprint one. I think I showed it in the last video. So this is another line I think I might try and collect. Charlton Comics, the all new E Man, number ten, painted cover. This is the last issue for this run, and I do have some other E Man comics from Charlton. So, I might try and just get this, complete this run. It's only 10 issues. Star Wars X-Wing Rogue Squadron. This was a hot book. Probably, what, two years ago now? Uh, yeah, because I believe it was in December of 2020. Supposedly, this was going to be getting a deep uh, Disney Plus series and patty jenkins i believe was tied to being a director of it and the last one for this haul i'm trying to keep it short even though it's still going to run 20 minutes because i yak too much is legend of zelda number two this is a really hard tough line to find uh when my youngest daughter was still living at home she's a big zelda fan i got her found her the first 
I believe it's five issues. I think this ran for either seven or eight. So trying to find those last two, three issues is really hard. I mean, I found them on eBay, but you're going to pay out the nose. So, but I found this one in a dollar bin. So I'm sure I will eventually find the other ones. All right, guys. That's it for this one. If you like the content, I appreciate it. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Hit notifications. I try to post up videos uh, at least twice a week uh, once I get through these boxes it probably won't be as, as frequent probably once a week as well I'll probably start doing like a what's in the box from some of my other boxes that aren't um, organized and labeled so but I appreciate you guys tuning in and checking it out and we'll talk at you later thanks a lot